Hey, you guys. It's for Scorpio. Here you go, Scorpio. Scorpio. What Scorpio need no days to it? Who's against Scorpio? Oh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate you very much, and I hope I can give you a message. Oh, somebody. Oh, it could be a Gemini, look, Scorpio. A Gemini. And, you know, your personality is logical, clever, and skillful. You love mental pursuits and learning new things and very curious. That's what how Geminis are. And this Gemini, it says, is calling in their soulmate to them and... Maybe your partner can feel this person sending this on to you through their through y'all's brainwaves, calling the other person out to you. Oh wow! So Scorpio, maybe you already have a partner, and a Gemini is calling out to you. <laughs> That's crazy, ain't it? This Gemini is calling out to you. Oh, dokie. So, what does this Gemini? What is it? Let me get one of these cards. What else does Jim and I want to talk about? This person calling out their soulmate. Oh, look, so beautiful. Christmas time. They're wanting you to come to them at Christmas time. That's what it said, okay? At Christmas time, and what else? Christmas time. Oh, that's what it was. Hang on. Let me put these up so I don't mix them up, you guys. So, uh, what it said is, there is a woman, there's, this, there's a woman praying for your downfall only because you believe in a different religion, in a different religion, or uh because you're spiritual so that could also be this uh gemini doing this but i think the gemini is the one that's calling in your soulmate and maybe it's this spiritual person is trying to get to you in this astral plane or this uh gemini is trying to do this with you scorpio and the astral dimension is the place of light and indestructible life force this realm is vibrational energy the place behind the world and material existence the soul goes here after death of body okay that's what the astral realm is and i drawed like a little woman rising up something crazy looking i guess you call it but let's see what the woman wanted to talk about or this man whoever it is wanting to talk to you guys <coughs> Um, what is, what does this Scorpio need to know today, Spirit? What's Scorpio need to know today? Okay, here's what you need to know today, Scorpio. You're going to have to go to court. Well, you're going to have some unexpected income from this judication. And, and now you're on a new path after you get judication, okay? So you'll have another pathway to choose, all right? And it could be with a Taurus or a Gemini. But this is about your beliefs and uh, how you use the most direct way to explain your beliefs and things. It's about your resources, the practicality of and resulting from the productivity of in Taurus. So maybe a Taurus, you're going to have to go to court with a Taurus and then you're going to receive some unexpected income. And maybe you'll be a privileged lady. You'll, ha you'll have money then. You won't have to worry after you uh, go to court. Like you'll have endless money. And what else does this person need to know? This is a privileged lady. That just means somebody, you know, it's that don't have to work anymore. Like, you know, they'll have a lot of wealth. They don't have to worry about work anymore. But what it says is, it's a privileged lady. It could be saying, 
this privileged lady expect this change of unexpected income and someone is when you have to go to court they're going to have to go to prison this person will have to go to prison and this pathway of yours is uh leading to a great fortune okay so whoever's listening to me don't worry because you'll win it done said you would you're going to receive money from it and this taurus is going to be left in despair okay what about privilege lady one front of privilege lady what about one front of privilege lady one front of privilege lady to help explain and privilege lady you'll have a new love okay you'll have a new love that's what it means all right So, Scorpio women, if you're watching me, I, this is for you, okay? You ain't gonna have to worry about money anymore because whoever this person is that you're going to court with, I don't know if this is your partner. I think it is your partner because the way it's said, you have a soulmate that you're connected to tele with telepathy and your partner can feel it, okay? So, you're gonna win, win money and it could be your partner's just Taurus and you're wanting to go to a Gemini Scorpio. And if this reads any true, could you hit subscribe and like you guys? Because I need the help getting around. And I greatly appreciate you all more than you know. It feels like I'm about to pass out or something, you guys. I don't know why my head's doing that. Let me get one of these messages. What is something else I need to tell Scorpio? The village, the peel one, and the teal come out. So this is about you being intimate with something or someone, and this is rooted. Uh, their feelings is rooted, you know. You, this is about your hometown and family tribe. So this is your family that you might have to go to court with, the village, or a family, okay? Intergenerational communal. The dark side is small-minded, gossipy, trapped, and restricted, okay? So I think it's saying that you're gonna have to go to court with somebody in your family is the way I'm reading this. and uh, the pilgrim come out and this is about you learning and growing and adapting to this new situation okay and you could be getting ready to study and and travel around the world and maybe be just a wanderer now an apprentice maybe you might be having a job where you're an apprentice now scorpio but the dark side is aloof and non-committal and flaky <laughs> so what i think is you uh, you might have been intimate with this person that is non-committal and flaky, okay? And you might have a family of this person, but they're drowning in drama at the moment. The tear, it landed just like this. They're drowning in drama and murkiness at the moment. And you're somebody that's listening to me that feels melancholy, like flowing through the tears. You can express your emotions, you know. You're releasing all this pain with this person. That's what it means. So you're releasing the pain with um, these non-committal flaky family members of yours that made you feel trapped and restricted and people gossiped about you. And I don't blame you. I'm fucking... You'd have to cry through all that, wouldn't you? But you'll be all right. You'll make it, you guys and gals. Don't think you won't, okay? Who is this person's spirit uh, that Scorpio needs to be aware of? Or what are you want to tell Scorpio? Y-L-L. -L. What else? O-L. -L. 
Jay. Oh, I don't know what it said. Thank you for asking me it. Here's somebody that is jolly. J-O-L-L-Y. <laughs> Here's somebody that's happy. That's all it means. You're somebody that's happy and people love you, okay? F-L-N-D. What's this say? Someone that is this fun, F U N. See the F U N. You're somebody that's jolly and fun. Maybe you're loud. I see L D. Can we have an O with you? Or just O? Can we have an O? Oh, I can do it. Spell loud up there if I do it. L D S. What else? L D S. Okay. What are you trying to spell? Spell it. D. D. What is that saying? Spell spirit. We have some vials. We have some vials spirit. There's an A and an L. There's an E and another S. We have some vials spirit. Vials. Let's see if it gives us a vial. No, it didn't. I'm gonna find the vials, y'all. My head's hurting, and I want to rest because I'm wore out. Spirit, if you work with these spirits, it hurts your head and stuff a lot. People don't understand. You don't understand until you start doing it, you all. I'm not lying either. Now let's see what it says. something but I want to try to spell something else real fast. So it says lips, L-I-P-S, L-I-P-S. Have 
have this. Deal. D E A L. And then we have Sarah. S A R H. I'm using the A up here to be S A R A H, okay? So Sarah. So Sarah made a deal. So here's what it says, Scorpio. It says Sarah made a deal. Sarah thought it would be fun to make a deal to lock lips with with someone and it says Sarah is jolly J-O-L-L-Y Sarah is jolly and she thought it would be fun to make a deal with someone out of her lips. Okay. Okay. That's what it said. Okay. E okay. E okay. That's all I got. So, Scorpio, you might know a Sarah, and maybe she kissed somebody. But out of her lips, she made a deal, and that's deal means about prison, imprisonment. That's why she's going to have to be adjudicated. And, and you're going to be jolly and off having fun by yourself, okay? That's what it said. So maybe she made the deal with the devil or so, but I don't know. But it says, this card up here said, what else could this mean? Is there something your soul is calling you to learn in this moment? Or is there a pattern of those ready to be broken? Walk in the other person's shoes and see it from their perspective. If it doesn't involve somebody else, ask yourself, how is life happening for me right now? So that's what you need to think about. So what else could this mean? I don't know. Y'all going to have to help me figure it out. But that's all I can get you guys. But I know one thing. This is jolly fun for me to do this to you all. And whoever is what it made a deal with their lips. Well, they're, they're the ones gonna have to pay for it, Scorpio. We ain't gotta worry about it, you know. And uh, I hope it helps you a little bit, you guys. I know sometimes it don't make no, it seem like it's crazy some of the things it says, but that's all I know to tell you guys, okay? Get you a little romance and see what it says. What is a romance? Oh, you're attracting. You're attracting romantic love to you at this moment. You gotta enjoy this moment fully. Look, it's your soulmate. Remember, it said you was calling in your soulmate. Look there. And now, please hit subscribe, Scorpio. I need to help, and y'all don't know how much I need to help. And my head's hurt so much how I'm trying to make people see that I'm true and. Just believe me, that makes twice it come out, so believe it, that you're going to be intimate and have a family together. You're, you're calling in your soulmate, you're all attracted to each other. Because look, that's why it's true love, and I'm leaving it like that. This is the romance of a lifetime. Look on the bottom, engagement ring. <laughs> so what else more do you need to see there, Scorpio? Yeah, that's your soulmate. You need to go ask them to marry you if you're a man. That's what you need to do. And if you're a woman, you need to get off your ass and go tell them that, you, that you're in love with them and cry. And then you'll be together forever. That's what I think it means. Okay, you guys? But I appreciate you all. And I love you. I don't want to get off here. I want to go lay down and go to sleep tonight early. Because my head's really hurting. And I hope this helps you all you, tonight. You all. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you tomorrow, okay, Scorpios, and everybody that watches me. I appreciate you all, new subscribers, especially you people that subscribe to me after this. I, tonight, I appreciate you all. Peace.